all right y'all welcome back to another video y'all we are about to be doing some cruising we're going to get something good to eat i don't know what it is but i know my stomach is ready to eat to where like oh maybe i need to you know get a gopro remote button and you do i love like it's sitting here on the velcro thing i just take it off i can charge it and then put it back on because it's just velcro i love that and like i said it's literally on here like i would trust it going you know pretty fast on the bike down the expressway so yeah and i have a big pack so you know after so many times of taking it off if the velcro getting a little worn out just put a new one on and these are so inexpensive so yeah, I love this. I can easily just tap it with my right, my left. And y'all, we recorded. It's a beautiful day out here. And we just about to be riding. Y'all, I love my bike. People be asking me like, do you like your bike? I love my bike. Like this is my bike. really like about my bike is that it's an older model um you guys know when i rode a newer bike which is my friend jasmine's bike um i didn't really like it just because like it didn't feel like you know what i'm used to i'm used to riding on these older bikes and you know they make a little noise and i don't know you know if the new ones can make a little noise maybe if you like change the pipe out i don't know but all i know is something about like the older body style and like the weight of the bike like i like that I don't want, you know, like a feather, feather light bike. I like the way my bike feels, like, you know, it's a little heavy. It ain't heavy for me, but you know what I mean. Like, it's built. It's not, like, plastic. It's built. And I love that. I feel like, you know, I'm riding on a bike. We ride. Um, 
but I just love, you know, the look of my bike. I think it's important to, you know, like what you ride. Your car, you know, your bike. If you have one, like, you know, I'm gonna be proud of what you got. And I love, love the way my bike looks. Just sound nice. 
I mean mad when I forget to do it but I really don't do that um, now you know sometimes I do but not as much as when I first <laughs> started doing it huh babe Okay. Yeah, I can't hear it. Good job, baby.
that's why I think it's just so important for new riders to start on a smaller bike. It doesn't have to be a 250, maybe a 300. Um, just to get used to being on a bike. It's not about speed. I think when people think about motorcycles, they think, oh, they can go really fast, which they can. But if you don't know how to control your speed, you can end up killing yourself. And I don't know, nobody to want to do that. So I just always recommend starting on a smaller bike, not a 600. People will say, well, you grow out of it really fast. Well, that, that's okay. Um, because I would rather, you know, start on something that I can handle than start on something bigger just because I might, you know, grow grow out of it fast with quotation marks around around that because bit of tooth um in the front so it'll take off a little bit faster but like i really you know don't need a faster bike like this bike is fast okay don't nobody really need to be going you know over a hundred anyways so yeah i'm gonna just leave it at that but i really like my bike and that's all i wanted to tell y'all this video <laughs>
smells so good down here by these restaurants. some gas. Gas light blinking. You need gas? Do you need gas? Uh -huh. I got some gas. Does anybody else think their bike sounds different when you get gas? Mine, I think sounds... We're gonna go around. My bike sounds so different to me and like it's so hot outside but my tank is cold right now it feels delightful it's like ac over here if you share it anything just thank you i always appreciate the love and support and i will catch y'all on my next video and just remember if i can do it you can do it too peace and love y'all